we please uh, pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 343? And I believe that one's been admitted already into evidence. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, Care. tell Travis right. what just happened. You oh, you tell told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, tell, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you, you figured it all out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched punch you lie. You. And then I, I didn't s- punch you, by the I- way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you've been a lot of fights. You've been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, when you fucking have a close You face. didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you started. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Johnny. You physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You're admirable. You hear that, chat? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you have to walk away. It's impossible to have a conversation with these people. It's fruitless. It's so frustrating because, again, it's, you know, you always hear the analogy of, uh, you know, it's like talking to a wall because it is. It just, you feel that, you know, bounds of energy and nothing's getting through. You know, and everything that permeates in the air is just what the other person is saying. In this case, these women, my ex, and this one. It's quite a horrible situation. It's It stresses you to the point that you have to be, numb yourself. So now you see the root of the problem. We're looking at Johnny going, oh yeah, he's just, you know, he is Keith Richards' son, after all, you know. (laughs) But that's not the case. I mean, he, obviously, he does enjoy his drinking and maybe he does enjoy his drugs and everything, but it's what I'm trying to say, that you go to these things so you can find that, that sense of lightness and you can't because they're there they're constantly there hounding you so it's very stressful and so therefore what i'm saying is that the the drugs don't work (laughs) and you keep doing more and more and they don't work so it's um quite the thing um What I am really concerned about is the, the level of the lies, the implications. Here we have somebody who is just so, feels so, it's not like she is cornered. I don't think that this is a defense mechanism. I think this is just a mandas apparatus. You know, this is just how she, you know, moves about the world. And uh, there was, a story that I saw earlier this morning about her arrest when she was like 16 years old or 15 years old. She she got her license suspended until the age of 21. There's a mugshot and everything. I mean, and of course, she's standing there with the, all the attitude in the world, but a lot of people believe that she probably killed somebody with her car because a lot of people are saying, well, People, you know, these authorities don't just, you know, revo- revoke your license. Speak just, you know, for the, all that long unless you have some, something, you know, what do they call it, vehicular uh, manslaughter or something like that. So um, there it goes, another one, you know. And 
the thing about it is that you know you hear vets you know coming back from the war and maybe they just killed one person right because that's the unfortunately that's the work of a soldier but they're hunted by it no matter how many lives you kill as long as there has been one you're gonna, you're going to be hunted by it because it's, it's a shock to that benign that good part of you which is your soul because it's 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 the stuff you don't do you know and um, internally subconsciously we're in a lot of pain you know especially I mean again whatever load that you may be carrying it's it's there it hasn't gone away unless you on purposely has done the work to be rid of these memories or these things we hold on in this case for instance um i want you guys to understand that anytime you you relax your attention your subconscious picks up you ever been driving and then you don't even know how you made it to that red light <laughs> you're just like i don't even remember driving here like i do remember you know i've been driving but it's just like i don't remember what the last few seconds, you know, that's when your subconscious picks up and keeps you safe, keeps everything happening. Sometimes you do things without even thinking, you know, especially manual labor, something that you've rehearsed so many times. This is when your subconscious mind picks up. The stuff that you don't have to think about is just there, you know. Sometimes, you know, people, whenever they have these reactions, you know, these horrible reactions, they snap out of it and they go, what just happened or you tell them it's like what did you just yell like i didn't i wasn't yelling you know it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where that your subconscious picks up and your true colors actually show so my point being is that um the next video that i have here is about um you can't see it but um Somebody made a, a video on TikTok showing, pointing out that, hey, you know, when Johnny is here passed out, there's, um, here in the corner, you'll see that there's a, something a little, little funny. If you zoom in, you'll see that there's a, a kit, like a, that, that you get, you know, to, for makeup, like the stuff that you get for Halloween. But actors know what these things are because we have to use them sometimes and it's called a bruise kit basically a lot of people just call them say bruise kit because you can literally make bruises out of it i mean a lot of makeup artists have them and i think this lady is probably a makeup artist uh or an actress actor um so it's something that you use basically to uh, so what is it doing there you know, johnny has passed out and what's what's that thing doing there and it's basically the, um, and she also mentioned, uh, what's her name, Amber Turd. She mentioned that um, um, she spilled the spilled spilled the soup at one point. And one of the answers she she says, uh, uh, yeah, she you know it was my um, my bruise kit and the, I mean um, makeup kit. See, the moment she relaxed her attention, boom information her, from her subconscious pops out and then she has to try to catch it and try to you know there was an instance too where she's talking about um i mean we're gonna be here all day if we can go over this but she literally says the the, the answer that she's not supposed to say and goes and then she rearranges her hair <laughs> but if you pause it she's going like oh my god i just said what I wasn't supposed to say. Again, keep this in mind, guys. This is why it's no good to lie. Because you can't keep it up. Because the moment you relax, basically you put down your defenses. You decide, you know, I'm, I'm doing good, you know. That's when the subconscious picks up and boom, real information comes out. The real you pops out. The you, the learned you, the stuff that you have stored in there you know for quick retrieval 
That's what the subconscious is. It's just information they're laying there for quick retrieval. Retrieval. Say so those backwards. Quick retrieval. Retrieval. Oh my God, I'm having trouble with this. I also need to drink something because I get in a, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna get a choke and a fart and a, <laughs> and a burp at the same time. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, she's using these things. But anyway, she's spilling the soup. The soup. <laughs> she's spilling the soup at the same time. Um, you know, she's speaking and she's catching herself. Okay. So, yes, it looks silly and everything, but that's another thing that is happening because we're. It's laughable, right? All these attempts. But the ramifications, the implications. Here's a person who is guilty and instead wants to bury somebody who is innocent. Like how evil can you be that you've been hitting this man, you've been abusing this man verbally, physically, emotionally, mentally, and now you're going to say that he did that to you. That's another level of evil. And it's not like she is cornered. Again, someone who's cornered is going to say things like that. But she's not. This is just, it's premeditated. So we have to, like I said in my other videos, I love the fact that this is being televised. Is being broadcast, and I, I love that because everybody gets a chance to see these people in action. That's what I, that's what I want in my situation with my ex. All I need is just more people to see her in action, because when I was there, I was outnumbered. She had, basically, she had everything, everybody on her side because all she does is just lie and just manipulate and, and basically. Uh, tarnish your your reputation again just like you know who did it a few years ago that he goes up to your reputation so basically dehumanizes you and then there's no comeback from that people don't respect you now and the more they talk about it the more they talk about it, the more it becomes acceptable and pretty soon you are being called these n names that sh that other person coined or people are coming up to you and t just literally just want to attack you because they know they think that you've done something that they told them you did again so you can appear as a horrible person and they don't this is all jealousy this is solely a matter of jealousy this person this woman was jealous of her own husband of her own husband's fame she was jealous of his kids she was jealous of the older kid the, the girl a beautiful kid what's her name uh, anyway, um, she you could tell she was jealous of her kid because she felt like, well, I had to work for my fame and yours is just like handed over to you. It just fell on your lap, you know. So the kind of uh, tiny egos, well, actually, tiny, <laughs> I like to say tiny hearts, tiny minds with huge egos, basically. Then right away they go to the, the simple, oh, you know, they're working against me, you know, and this is done on purposely just to make me look ridiculous, you know. It's sort of like me, 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 you know, so uh, it's like, oh, I lost a part to, who, who was it? I forgot who it was, and it's like, no, you didn't, you probably just were auditioning for that part, and, um, that she hated one of Johnny's friends, basically. Uh, so it's um, it's someone tripping all the time, um, basically making up stories. There was another guy that she knew that uh, sold her drugs when she was in her teens, basically, and very young, and that uh, she had these fits of. Um, grandiosity and then of you know being completely like paranoid and stuff like that and um, you can't pe get people out of that and
again, I, like my abuelita used to say, you know, ask your conscience. You know, you owe you owe someone something. This is why you know you cannot you cannot sleep. These are people who can't. They're always light sleepers. They say, "Yeah, I just I'm a light sleeper." It's like something's keeping you up. It's all this shit you cost. My ex was the same way. Oh, everything was like always oh, keeping her up. You know, and things. It's just like, well, what's keeping you up anyway? <laughs> I used to tell her, you know, I, I get really afraid of what you, because she would come up with lies so quickly like that. If I needed to get out of work or something, you know, especially when you're at a job that you don't like, you know, when I used to like wait tables and stuff like that, I couldn't wait to just take off work. It's like, I don't, I hate going to these places. And uh, she would come up with all kinds of excuses. And one time I told her, oh my God. You scared me how quickly you come up with lies. Yeah. Um, very crafty people. So anyway, yeah, that's, I think, as, as far as what's been happening, you know, I mean, um, I love Ms. Vasquez, of course, Ms. Vasquez, you know, and she's finding now a fame of, you know, it's going to equalize his biggest lady die or something everybody's looking around her like she's some kind of a apparition or something something some like the virgin mary or something um oh it's awesome because it shows people's appreciation you know they they see someone that they like and they see that this person is just lying on them, right? And they want to bury them, and, and they want to help them. Have you seen how many groups are there, like Justice for Johnny, you know, Advocating for Johnny, uh, all this, uh, you know, Free Johnny, <laughs> all, this stuff, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they're they're seeing, it's like, this is unfair, right? And everybody's like, we need a hero, you know? <laughs> Here comes Miss Vasquez. Da, 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 da. She comes in and saves the day. And she does it so eloquently. She does it so masterfully. I've been watching other channels, you know, where uh, actual lawyers are like, giving her props. It's like masterful work, you know. And before I even watch these things, I watched it the first time. While I was watching, I was like, this is like the best sport ever. I'm never going to stop watching it. <laughs> just exciting as hell you know it's just the, the way she was lining up the questions and she's like so da -da 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 -da. okay let's show evidence such and such it's like oh my god just set up after set up after set up like beautiful and then she just didn't give her an out anytime she was she would add a little something because it was always it's always embellishing everything you know um, trying to, uh, or just sneak in a few comments here and there. Said, Mr. Mr. <laughs> I didn't ask that. You didn't answer my question. It was beautiful. It was beautiful to watch. You don't understand. We that have experienced people like this have literally ripped our hair out of our heads with frustration. Because like, no, no, that wasn't me. But I saw you walk up. No, that wasn't me. No, you're wrong. You, I just, I don't know, you're tripping or something. And and then in the end, you're like, yeah, you're right. I might be tripping. I, mean, I really, I think I'm tripping. You know? So to watch somebody just boom, 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 boom. Do it question after question. No, you're not going that way. Stay here. Look at me. <laughs> and just didn't let her off the hook. It was beautiful to watch. And that's why there's been so many acceptance towards Ms. Vasquez. By the way, it's Vasquez. It's not Vasquez. Vasquez. Vasquez, maybe. Vasquez. Anyway, she's a beautiful lady and uh, we all love her because, again, it's she came in like a savior, you know, and left us all hoping and wishing, you know, that somebody or oh, left us with the hope basically that there's still people out there advocating for others, you know, that the truth will set you free. You know, that we hope that we run into a person just like Ms. Vasquez that will 
defend us and speak for us and advocate for us, you know. Um, like I said, in my situation, all I want is just more people to watch her, at, watch her speak. Yeah, I know you're watching. All they're going to do is take a look at you, listen to your answers, and they'll know. Just like with this this lady. And this is what I, I'm making these videos, to point out how much human beings have evolved. These kinds of things never, I mean, it was so easy for just a woman just to say, that black man over there in the corner that works at my ranch, he raped me, when maybe she was actually had the hats for the strong guy in the fields, and he knows that's pretty stupid to do, to mess around with someone you're not supposed to, and so then she got him in trouble. You know how many black men were lynched that way? We're not talking incarcerated and judged, lynched because some white lady decided to make up a story. Evil women are out there. They're succubus. People who, women basically, who think very twistedly. See, when you find an, a selfish man, yes, he's going to literally try to take over the world, try to control everything. But when you find an evil woman, she's going to try to control everyone. So, that's what's happening. The truth shall set you free. And all you evildoers, you're going down. That's all for today. Well, for this one. I don't want to make this too long because then, you know, I look over and you guys are like, <sighs> you know. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.